When working with elongated components, we may have a requirement to break our views. And we can access the broken view command by going to our insert, drawing view, and break. And once we select the view that we require, we can place these uh, broken lines uh, wherever we prefer. So we're just going to drop two in there and there. And you can see that adjusts our view accordingly. Now I'm just going to uh, position our views to allow me to place our projected view within our border area. Now, if there's an actual change to the model itself, this is where we might see a problem. Because uh, if we change this value to be 18 from 14, and then if we go back to our drawing, we'll see now that the actual view now overlaps our border area. And this is because the broken lines have actually stayed at the exact position they were placed on the original view. If we go back again and we open up our model, we'll change this back to be 14. And now what we'll do is we'll go into the actual broken view itself and we'll actually add a dimension on the break line. So if we click on the break line and just add a normal dimension and we'll stick with the actual value it comes up with. We'll repeat the process for the other broken line and again we'll stick with that particular value. Now once we come out of our dimension command you'll see that these have now disappeared. But if we now go to the model We'll open this up again and we'll change this back to be 18. What we'll find is now, in the actual drawing, the actual broken lines have stayed with respect to the dimension to the edges. Hence, we've allowed our broken view and its extended size to still be confined within the border area.